the difference is rather than making software to give people features, you make software to solve people's problems. And if you solve the right problems, then the software you make will be possibly perfect. That's the goal anyway. Basically, we take the most important problem, one by one. So maybe one or two problems, but up to the user to tell us what the most important problem is. They use what we have, they try it, and then they come with a small number of issues, things they would like to do differently, things that they cannot do that they want to do, things that are too slow or that are, are not working as expected. And then they tell us about those, and those become the problems. So it's about uh, what is the next most important problem. And in fact, this is nice because it solves the hardest problem in our industry, in our job, which is to prioritize. If you try to solve 100 problems, then you don't know where to start. What you want is one by one, ideally. As long as the problem is worth somebody's time to talk about and tell you and engage and offer you money to solve, then it's worth solving. And so eventually what happens is that the, the piece you're working on, the piece that you're giving to your customer, becomes stable, becomes good enough, the customer says, I don't want to change it anymore, because the, the cost of change is also significant. Yeah? If you are taking a product and you are using it and you are improving it too much, then it's the cost of learning new features, the cost of change. And so eventually that becomes higher than the, the value of those problems and the change will stop. And then you make new pieces. So what we see in our software is the development of many small projects. And each project has a cycle where it goes through change and it becomes mature gets used for a while and then maybe dies or becomes just very, very stable. So it's like you have a camera and the camera has a part, has a tripod, and the tripod is a solved problem. You don't gold plate the tripod. You don't care about its performance, it's, you know, it works. But you'll keep changing the lens. And so you have these pieces that you improve over time. And no, better lenses, better lenses. You can always make a better lens, but the tripod is a solved problem. The trick is to have the tripod interchangeable so you can always use the same tripod on new cameras. If the tripod is stuck to the camera, then you have a real problem there. Only capital punishment for people who actually break things repeatedly. So, of course, people make mistakes, that's fine. And mistakes are actually how you learn. And so we encourage people to learn as they work and to make mistakes and to be very quick at helping them to fix their mistakes and explain to why they're making a mistake. And that's fine, that's normal, that's good. That's why we merge everything, because people will learn and they will get better very quickly, most people. And then now and then some people will not learn and they will insist on doing it the, the wrong way and they will argue and they will start to justify why they're doing it this way, which is the wrong way. And then eventually it's like, okay, after maybe one month, I will ban them. This happens maybe once a year. And I give them a special t-shirt. I'm saying, you piss me off this year t-shirt. Like once a year, I get a special prize. It's very, very rare. It's very rare. And it's also rare because we have very clear rules written down. And so when you come in, you see the rules. And it's already, if you're that kind of person, you then usually you will stay away. Now, some people like projects without clear rules because they can make a mess and they can then you know, be in charge or something. But that's not good.